living in two dimensions. The input is the intuition, our inner reading, and the output is empathy. Living in the second dimension, in two dimensions, is seeing faces, surfaces, two dimensions, faces. So it's essentially about relationships with others and with yourself. How you see others, looking in, into. So we see a point of light, the point move as the line in the first dimension. And then that we see as a background, the surface, the second dimension, the surface, the entoptic of the two. The two, the bust, the head, and shoulders, the two, the face, the faces, our relationships with others, our ability to read faces or to re and to read their hearts if you, if you like, and to be e empathetic, to be able to understand and communicate. This is what living in two dimensions is like. See William, Williams' syndrome. They're very two dimensional, very deep into relationships. You see, you know, we're born, we come out of from inside our mothers, so the number two is our mother. We come from inside our mothers, so the background of space we see is our mother. The mother is the space. The two. Islam is based on the worship of Alat, the mother of all the gods. You know, she was changed to Allah. Originally, Alat worshipped at Mecca, the mother of all the gods. It is Shiva. E, the exponential, just as the one, the movement, is Pi. So the two, the surface, is Shiva is E, the exponential, the transcendental number E. So we see our beginning and our end in the faces, you know, of, of each other and in our empathy. And this is what What we want, we want equal rights and justice, we want fair treatment, we want redress, we want correction, we want the kingdom of God on earth, we want our mother's love, we want to feel as though we belong in our hearts to the collective and that we're, we're, that we're not rejected because our face doesn't fit, because we're not part of the corporate, some corporate delusion usurping the wealth of everybody else, some corporate church that takes over ownership of our lands or some corporate royal family that takes possession of all, all our lands and then sells it back to us at extortionate fees, creating a whole system of corruption, you know, based upon the royal family and religions and artificial divisions and injustice going on from generation to generation.
this is living in two dimensions this is looking this is speaking truth to the face of the system this is demanding equal rights and justice for all you should have us all or you should have us fall as Don Van Fleet says you should have us all or you should have us fall dear mother of all the gods the screen Shiva the destroyer the one who understands the one who knows us the one who knows ourself and our nature who reflects who sees within who sees the surface see beneath the surface <laughs> 